married and bored or single and lonely. That's right. That's right. Marriage is some boring ass shit. Because once you get married, you got to hang around other married people. And that's just disgusting. <laughs> you ever go to dinner with six neutered adults? A bunch of women talking about diaper genies and hair coloring? You know, if you leave it in too long, it stings. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> A bunch of men talking about barbecue grills and routes to work. You know, sometimes I'll take the highway, but if it's backed up, I got some side streets I like to take. They get me there and half the time. Yeah, you should take it out. I-95 is clear sometimes. Shut the fuck up. I hate married people. It's fucking disgusting. If you go to eat dinner with single people, single people eat for an hour and 30 minutes and leave, because they got fucking to do. <laughs> married people close down a restaurant. They start ordering coffee and dessert. Start talking to the architect. I like the thing you put right there in the thing. Start talking to the cook. Oh, it's in the tea. Water, bitch! <laughs> hurry up, we got a lot of not fucking to do. If you hurry up, we can not fuck all night. Oh, I hate married fucking people, man. And fellas, once you get married, you become your wife's pet. You become a fucking pet. Because women like to get their husbands together that don't even know each other and have like a grown man play date. <laughs> Put you in a room with some other married motherfucker and go, he likes baseball just like you. <laughs> and you in some room with some fucking stranger go, I like baseball. I like baseball too. Yeah, yeah, baseball good. Yeah, yeah. Honey, who the fuck is this? Get me the fuck out of here. I don't need no new friends. If you want to help me out, introduce me to a girl. I hate married people, man. Whenever I go out with other married couples, I like to bring along a single crackhead. Just to spice up the activity. Come on, tell us some of your cracky tales, please. <laughs> Married and bored, single and lonely. See, the problem with relationships is people want too much, man. People want too much. Everybody's looking for a soulmate. We're soulmates. We're soulmates. We're one. We're soulmates. I'm a Pisces. He's Aquarius. We're perfect. We're soulmates. It's incredible. It's incredible. His moon is my star, and it's a soulmate. We're soulmates. And we complete each other, and we finish each other's sentences. And the other day, it was raining. I said, honey, it's getting ready to rain. And he said, rain, too. <laughs> It's amazing. It's like we're telekinesic. We're telekinesic. It's incredible, my God. Nobody gets a soulmate. It don't happen. All you're going to get in life if you're lucky is a mate. Just a mate. Somebody you fuck, go to movies with. You fuck, go to another movie. You fuck, go to the comedy show. You fuck, you go to your grandmama's house. You fuck, you go to your mama's house. You fuck, you go see another movie. And somewhere in between fucking and movies, he goes, you wanna get something to eat? <laughs> and that's all relationships are. It ain't that complicated. It's just fucking and eating. If you don't like fucking somebody and you don't like eating with them, y'all don't need to be together. <laughs> and the longer you with somebody, it's more eating and less fucking. Shit, you don't even remember the last time you fucked, but you know you had rice and beans on Wednesday. <laughs> you never go get a soulmate. You never go meet the perfect person. You never go meet somebody that loves Seinfeld and the Wu-Tang Clan. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. And even, even if you meet the perfect person, it ain't gonna be the perfect time. You're married, they're single. That's right, you're Jewish, they're Palestinian. You're Mexican, they're a raccoon. You're a black woman, he's a black man. 